Jason had just started the car when a girl put a gun to his head. Jason had to get out of the car. Then a group of gangsters couldn't wait to get into the car, but they couldn't get it started because of the code. So they threatened Jason with the code. Jason calmly takes off his jacket. One of the gangsters took out a dagger and tried to attack Jason, but Jason kicked it away. The girl was too scared to shoot. She fled the scene in disarray. Jason then went back to his car to continue his work. Jason was a courier. But strangely enough, his shipment this time was a boy. But when he took the boy to his destination hospital. But when he left, he realized that the doctor looked evil. The nurse was dressed strangely. What's worse, there was blood coming out of the cabinet. Jason immediately broke into the boy's hospital room. The doctor, seeing that Jason had recognized him, tried to make a move. Jason tried to escape, but it was stopped by a bed. So he opened the vent and hid the boy in it, but suddenly the doctor came rushing in. Jason picked up a knife and plunged it into the doctor's neck. Then the nurse appeared. She pulled out a submachine gun. Luckily, Jason raised the door to stop the bullet. Then he hid in a room. He opened an oxygen tank and pushes it out. Jason picked up the bottle and threw it at the lamp. A spark fell on the oxygen tank, causing a violent explosion. Jason left the hospital with the boy in his arms. But then, another assassin secretly planted a bomb under Jason's car. Without knowing it, Jason drove away with the boy. Jason was about to get into his car, when he was surprised to find a bomb planted underneath. But by the threat of the gangsters, Jason had to get into the car. He then quickly fled the scene, and then the killer activated the bomb. Jason came back from the dead. He vowed to kill them all, so Jason went back to the hospital. He found the doctor on the surveillance camera and found the syringe. Then Jason investigated and found the killer's location. The killer saw Jason. He shoots him right away. Then he retreated as he fought. He jumped down the fire escape. Jason came out after him. Then the killer got on a bus. Jason caught up with the bus in a speedboat. Jason grabbed the killer and stuck the needle in his thigh. The killer was terrified. He fled back to the lab to find the antidote. And then Jason came after him. He wanted the antidote to save the boy. Suddenly the killer raised his gun and tried to shoot Jason. The doctor was terrified and tried to run away. But Jason threw a knife and stabbed him in the thigh. The angry doctor threw the antidote out of the window. Jason leapt and grabbed the antidote. He landed heavily on a cap. The antidote fell in the middle of the road. Suddenly Jason realizes there's another bottle of the antidote. He rushed forward and grabbed the antidote. Jason managed to hold on to the last bottle of antidote. Jason took the antidote to the boy's home and succeeded in saving the boy. Next up is Jason's revenge. Jason drove his car into the gang's territory. He didn't expect to be attacked by the robbers. Then the robbers went to check on him, but they realized that Jason had disappeared. They came to the garage. Suddenly, the robbers immediately grabbed their weapons. They surrounded Jason. Jason kicks away to robbers. The robbers chop the steel pipe with a knife. A large amount of fog began to leak. Jason sees the opportunity to get the weapon. Then Jason went to the second floor. He found the gangster. Jason was about to shoot, but he didn't realize that the murderer suddenly appeared. The gangster took the opportunity to board an evacuation helicopter. Then the hitwoman and Jason went head to head. The assassin seized the opportunity to rush at Jason, but Jason kicked her and nailed her to the wall. Jason then caught up with the helicopter in his sports car. Jason drove onto the runway. Before the plane took off, Jason jumped up and grabbed the landing gear. Jason broke into the plane and took out a bodyguard. Then he grabbed the gangster. Then the two of them got into a fight. The gangster accidentally shot the captain with his pistol. The plane was out of control. Jason then kicked the gangster unconscious. By now the plane was heading for the sea. The gangster sank into the water. Jason immediately grabbed the gangster. He rescued him from the water. Then the police arrived and arrested the gangster. 
Jason also succeeded in saving the infected people with the antidote.